Well, hello, thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. And as you can see, we're continuing here in Connor. And you can see a wee billboard here. You can see a ch the church there on top, which is St. Saviour's Parish Church. And also you can see the staff there of uh, St. Patrick. Uh, there's other wee things here as well. Uh, you can see the wheel there, the water wheel. And uh, there's another wee picture there of the water wheel and the weavers house or the weaver mill and uh, also there is a few cows because we're in the country of course and of course there's the revival the 1859 revival and I see somebody has put a wee hat on them <laughs> and there's a wee spot of fishing and uh, I'm not sure I think that might be a salmon but if somebody's watching and you know what that is let me know I think it's a salmon but it could be wrong it could maybe maybe even be a rainbow trout and there's uh, Edward the Bruce, uh, 1315, because of course he uh, fought a battle here and won it here in 1315, the Battle of Connor. And then there's the pot of gold with a wee rabbit as well. But the reason why we're here is we're going to look at the uh, 1859 revival. And of course, like a lot of revivals, the 1859 revival uh, in Ulster actually came amidst the back backdrop of uh, lukewarmness and also uh, apostasy in the church. And the revival that actually started here in 1859 is known as the Great Revival. And it was one of the most significant revivals of all time. And it began with a linen worker called James uh, McQuilkin. And he experienced a dramatic religious conversion to Christ in 1856. Now, McQuilkin, along with a fellow believer who was also a neighbour called Jeremiah Meanly, and a couple of other men as well, they started to hold weekly meetings for Bible study and also to pray on Friday evenings over the winter of 1857-1858 at the uh, Tommy Break Break National School, the old school house. And I done a wee video earlier there uh, in part one of the 1859 revi revival at Kells, so you can check that out. Now, from New Year's Day 1857, there was a steady stream of uh, new converts who joined the group, just like the steady stream that we see here at Connor Bridge. And cottage meetings and open air meetings for even bigger crowds then of course followed. And Jeremiah mainly proved a, a powerful preacher whom the Lord used to uh, carry the message of the gospel across much of Antrim. And of course the Lord was pouring out the revival fire of the Holy Spirit. And here you can see Connor Presbyterian Church. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him and that's Romans 15 verse 13 so it actually uh, ended up in a great province wide revival in Ulster uh, in 1859 it affected many places and I've done some videos of, of that for instance in Portadown, uh, Belfast um, Dromora Village but in Botanic Gardens in Belfast uh, it's seen actually a mega prayer meeting with 25,000 people turning up to seek the Lord in 1859. And so this is the church here. Now this wasn't the original church, but it's built on the original 1815 church. It's built on the actual site. This is a later uh, church, but quite an impressive building, isn't it? And as I say, it's built on the, the site of the 1815 church. Now, during 1859, uh, Connor Presbyterian actually swelled to 900 families. And so the present church that was uh, built here, which is this church here in 1896, actually replaced then, as I say, the earlier church of 1815. And of course, a lot of that was due to the revival, the 1859 revival, and also a second church 
a second Presbyterian church had to be built as well. And uh, so I'm going to do a wee video on that one. And that's Kells Presbyterian Church. And it had to be built to cope with the numbers um, because of the people who were uh, converted to Christ. And so join me for that one. Again, if you enjoy the channel, please like and subscribe. God bless.